I'm harvesting these red twig dogwoods today to turn them into live stakes that will stabilize a stream bank. I planted these native dogwoods in my parents' front yard a few years ago with the intention of using them for the infinite plant hack. Every year or two, you can cut some of the shrubs' larger stems close to the ground, cut off all the small side branches, and use these stakes to propagate into new dogwood shrubs. I aim to make each live stake about two to three foot in length, and generally I'm looking for the stems that are at least a half inch thick or so. I cut the bottom of the stake at an angle and the top flat across, and I store them in a bucket of water while I'm working. The morning after, I planted the stakes on the edge of a local stream that my nonprofit is working on improving. To plant the stakes, I first use a piece of rebar or a small metal bar to make a hole for the stake. I try to go at least a foot deep into the soil, but if you can go deeper than that, that's better. I then push the stake into the hole until a foot or less is left above ground. Now, if the ground stays wet, the underground part of the stake will push out new roots and the above ground portion of the stake will leaf out and it'll grow into a new red twig dogwood shrub. In nature, these occur along stream banks, so it should be really happy here. I usually get about a 60 or 70% success rate with these stakes, so I tend to plant a bit denser than desired. If successful, these shrubs will help stabilize the stream bank, which will reduce erosion and sediment pollution. They'll also provide native insects and pollinators with food and support birds with their berries. You can do this with a lot of native shrubs that like water, including elderberries, shrubby willows, other dogwoods, and button bushes. If you have too much deer pressure in your area, you can use these tree tubes to protect them until they grow out of deer browse height. And that's about it. I'll keep an eye on these stakes and I'll hope that they all leaf out in another month or so.